Oh well, hello, lovely Virgo, how you doing? I hope you're well. My name is uh, Diane and we're going to do a career and finances reading for April. You are so well, well it's April, May, you know, timeless. April, May, timeless, whenever you happen to get it, it's when you were meant to see it. You're very, very welcome here. Thank you very much for taking the time to check out the reading, you know, I appreciate it very much. And if you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate that as, a lot as well. And I also have a new channel, Virgo, called How to Train Your Caterpillar, which is a spiritual life coaching channel. So I'll leave the link in the description box. And if you feel like uh, checking it out, I'd appreciate that too. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Spirit, what would you like Virgo to know? about their current career and finances situation. Okay, you have the eight of, oh. That is a pretty explicit message, the eight of cups. Okay. There's something better. There's something better waiting for you. So I see you leaving something behind. Um, you may be doing something more spiritual or something more creative because the Eight of Cups often talks about getting on your true path where you're supposed to be. So it's almost like, see that little green guy? Or you can be the, the woman, you know, you can be the little green guy or you can be the woman in the dress, but like, see how the little green guy is kind of beckoning to the woman? It's, you know, it's like, look, come this way. It's almost like your guide is kind of directing you. They're like, look, look at this way. This way is better. This way is much more suited for you. Because I feel like wherever you are now, you're not really, you're either not enjoying it or you're not being appreciated or you're undervalued. Okay. <laughs> you have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Okay, let me see what else comes out here. It could be something that you wanted to do since childhood and I, I see you leaving. There's like an idea that's coming to you. And you know what, Virgo? I think it's going to make you a lot of money. Uh -huh. You have Justice. And you have the Ace of Cups here. It's something new. Definitely, I feel like it's something more... Um, you know, it could be like a charity. Something like that. I'm taking too many from this deck. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> there we go. I've made a triangle, right? I'm gonna stop. Um, the Nine of Pentacles. This could be something where you're a little more independent. Could be your own business that you're thinking about setting up here, but the Six of Cups, this could be something that you've kind of dreamed of doing since childhood. It could be like a childhood dream. It could also involve something that you used to do when you were younger. It could be something that you did when you first start, started out in your career and then you maybe got a bit sidetracked or something. But you, you have the Six of Swords here, which is leaving something behind because you know the previous card to that is the Five which you may have felt a bit stuck, like maybe you were staying in a certain position because you felt like you had to or something, you had certain obligations. But um, it talks about kind of relocation. And if it's like making new plans, like coming in out of the storm, like things are gonna be much more harmonious. And you have the Ace of Swords here, which is all about new ideas. I feel like you have some kind of new idea or you're going to have it to lead you to something else. King of Pentacles here. Um, in the King of Pentacles, you could be, it could be like an entrepreneur. You might be going into science. Um, they're saying though that this plan, whatever it is you're going to do, it's going to work out very well with the King of Pentacles here. With the Justice here and the Ace of Cups, and especially with the Seven of Wands, it could be something to do with like a charity or something because the justice is all about fighting for like, you know, justice and equality and you have the Ace of Cups, which is, it speaks of something very close to your heart and the Seven of Wands is like standing up for what you believe in. It's something, excuse me, <coughs> it's 
excuse me, is something you're really going to love though with the Ace of Cups, like something that really speaks to your soul. With the Ace, uh, the Ace of Pentacles here and this, you have the Fool, it's definitely a new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles is like some kind of new opportunity coming in, um, like a complete job change. You, I feel like it's a change rather than a promotion. But it might involve a bit of a leap of faith here, Virgo. Like, you know, because I know you you guys are very structured and you like to know what's going on. But this might involve a bit of a leap of faith. But you have this Four of Wands here. And you have the Judgment card, New Beginnings. So they're promising you here that it's going to turn into something very stable. Like, you might have to work hard, but you will be rewarded. Like, you're going to be abundant. And you have the Wheel here which is the the wheel of fortune so it's like change there's a lot of change happening here um but you know that six of cups it's like you're walking away towards something that's going to make you a lot more happy in your day-to-day -day life it could definitely be creative I'm just want to get one more from this deck I just wanted one spirit <laughs> just give me one more from this deck please one more. One more. Any more from this deck, sir? Come on. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, you also have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. So this card is also about, this, this is about faith. And it's about being open to what the universe is trying to give you. So I feel like this is some kind of new opportunity, but you're maybe a bit skeptical about it because it, you feel like it might not be so stable. I don't know. Um, but it's, you know, see how he's literally got his arms open. You know, this card is all about having faith in the universe and being open to what they're trying to give you. Cause you also have the six of pentacles here, which it talks about like a, a promotion or a raise or something and it also says in this de deck in particular material needs get fulfilled in magical and un unexpected ways and you have the page of pentacles underneath that which is about learning something new so there's some you're gonna be learning something new like a new skill or you're gonna be learning more about something you already know but it's like retraining. You're going to be retraining in something or going back to school. You also have the magician here. So they're basically saying to you here that you have everything that you need to go on this new journey to like manifest the life that you want. And, you know, I'm just going to read out the card here. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginning. So it's like you've been through your lessons, like you, you've learned what you needed to learn from the job that you're currently in and the situation that you've been in and now you're manifesting something new. You know, you're manifesting a new life and you're creating something from nothing for some of you. What else is going on with Virgo? Are you, gonna, you know, the magician is someone very successful. You have occupation, okay, well, we knew that. But you have the Eight of Cups with occupation, so it's a new job. This is definitely, you know, they're just confirming for you here, like, this is definitely to do with your job. Because I feel like what you're doing now, it's almost like old hat. You know, you're not being challenged anymore, and you're maybe a bit bored. And it's just maybe like the same kind of old grind, like day in, day out, you know what I mean? Okay, what else is going on for Virgo? Maybe clarify, okay. You have main female and you have distant horizons. So, a couple of things here. Um, for those of you who identify with the main female here, you might actually be moving abroad or you might be moving somewhere else to kind of follow a childhood dream or follow something that you've wanted to do for a long time. 
it may also be, it doesn't necessarily have to be moving, but it may be something that you have always felt is kind of far-fetched because it was maybe a childhood dream and you're like, oh, I can never do that. Like, that's too far-fetched. I need something more practical. Mm -mm. They're saying that's what they want you to do now. For others of you, there could be some kind of female entering, you know, even if you're a woman, like this could be like a business partnership coming into your life to kind of, like someone you already know, maybe someone that you used to work with is going to give you a job or someone you used to network with or someone you went to school with, you're going to end up working with this person or it could be like you met this person a year ago or a couple of years ago and you end up working with this person. And you have gift. Yeah, you have. It's almost like a gift from the universe here, Virgo, with, with this gift here in the magician. You have some kind of gift to be able to create create something out of nothing. And you have great fortune at the bottom of the deck. So whatever this is is going to make you a lot of money, is what I would say. If I can get the card to focus. I don't know why this deck never wants to focus. There we go, great fortune. I just wanted to show you the card. <laughs> so it looks like this is gonna to lead to some pretty decent money for you. Okay, um, I feel like I just dropped those, right? What's going on for Virgo, please? Take action. It kinda of looks like it's time for you to take action here. You have no, interesting. Okay, what else is going on for Virgo? What other messages do you have for Virgo? <clears throat> what other messages do you have for Virgo? Choose a new direction and you have opportunity. <laughs> it's almost like, um, <laughs> see the way that came out? It's like, excuse me, like maybe you're thinking about staying in the same place and they're like, no, it's time for you to do something new. There's definitely, like they're trying to tell you like whatever it is you're doing at the moment is not, <clears throat> excuse me Virgo, like it's not really where you're supposed to be. I feel like you're a lot more gifted than you give yourself credit for because there's some kind of opportunity coming in for you. Like there's an opportunity here to make a really decent amount of money doing something else. Okay, let me get the tarot out. It's all fun and games until we get the tarot out, right? <laughs> okay. We just give the deck a shuffle here. Fluffed it. And let's just do one more. Okay. All right, what is going on for Virgo? Okay, you have the two of swords, so you're kind of blocking something out here. I feel like you need to make a decision and you're kind of ignoring it, maybe. Okay, you, yeah, there's like, there's a block here. You have the, the High Priestess with the Seven of Cups. So things do not seem, they do not seem clear to you. So you're not making a decision. Like you don't know, that Seven of Cups, it indicates, especially in a career reading, like it indicates not knowing which way to go. And the High Priestess talks about like mystery and things seeming a bit, um, <coughs> excuse me, like things seeming a bit kind of mysterious. Like you. It's like there's a fog, you know what I mean? But it seems to me that they're closing the door on whatever it is you're doing at the moment. That card hardly ever comes out. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, what else for Virgo, please? You have the Hermit. So there you are. I wonder why you're showing up there. <clears throat> what else, please? What else for Virgo, please? 
You have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're kind of reluctant to go for anything that's not going to be very, very stable, which I completely understand. You know, I'm just reading the cards. <laughs> um, but often, you know, when you are... That's the thing about great risk and great, you know, great success often involves great risk. But it seems to, you know, with the Knight of Pentacles here and the Three of Pentacles, these are both very stable cards. So it's like, you, this may be something that you kind of learned from your parents or something that you just decided yourself. You know, maybe you grew up with like not a lot of money and you're like, right, I'm always going to make sure that I have <clears throat> like a really stable job and like, excuse me, Fargo. Sorry, I was just trying to clear my throat. Um, you know, I always want to make sure like I have enough money, like I'm in a really stable job and it's, the thing is, I feel like they're trying to push you into something more creative, but you don't want to do it because you would rather make sure that you had like a steady paycheck or something, which I completely understand. But with the hanged man here, I feel like this, this is, it's, I feel like you're dragging your feet, right? Because you don't want to do this new thing and hey, I get it. I completely understand. Tell me about the past, please. <clears throat> I'm just going to move these guys because I'm going to knock them <laughs> when I get my new cards out. Tell me about the past, please. Tell me about the past for Virgo. <clears throat> you have the King of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like whatever this job you're doing is, is made you a lot of money, you know? If it's not that, there's a couple of things here. You're used to being very responsible. You may have had to be responsible for like, I don't know, a partner or for your family or something like this. But I feel like you, you're the one, you're the one Neo. <laughs> you're the one that, you, you know, you, you, you feel like you always have to be like the provider or you feel like you always have to be very responsible. <clears throat> like you're the one that should be stable. You're the one that should be like, you know, have the spare money in case somebody else needs it or this kind of thing. And it's possible that what you're doing at the moment is actually made you a lot of money. Like it's made you very lucrative. But I feel, you know, maybe that's what you were more into in the past, like the money thing, which again, I completely get it, you know, but now you're thinking like, I'd like to do something. It feels more that they're making you <laughs> is what it feels like to me with this no card, it's just, it's almost like they've slammed a door. So it may be that you've lost the job or it may be, I don't see that here, but it may be, because that's what happened to me. <laughs> you know, I used to have like a, a regular job, you know, and then it just came to the point where I just literally, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it anymore. And that's kind of how they do it you know, they'll sort of, they'll, they'll push you and they'll push you and then they'll basically make it so that it's like not possible for you, like either emotionally or like physically, it's, n it's not possible for you to do that job anymore because they're pushing you towards something else because there's some kind of new opportunity and it, it's going to make you a lot of money, Virgo. Tell me about the near future for Virgo, please. Because it could be like you had a lot, look at that. Ace of Pentacles and I see the Four of Wands here. I'm going to reshuffle though. Um, yeah, with the King of Pentacles, it may have been like in the past you had some kind of reason. Like you might have had a lot of people that you were responsible for. And now that's not the case anymore. Alright, tell me about the near future for Virgo, please. You have the Three of Swords, and you have the Eight of Wands. Hmm, all right, tell me about the advice. What's the advice for Virgo? <laughs> well, okay, you have the Judgment card and you have the Fool, if I can pick them up. So it's time to decide with the Judgment. You know, you've been thinking about this for a while. It's time to take that leap of faith basically. That's, that's the advice here. They're actually saying shit or get off the pot. 
which I wasn't going to say because it was kind of a gross phrase, but that's what they keep giving me. So tell me about the outcome. That's a lot of cards. I'm going to reshuffle. Tell me about the outcome, please. Again, that's a lot of cards, Spirit. Tell me about the outcome, please. What's the outcome? You have the Eight of Pentacles, so this is something you're going to be, yep, and the Ace of Cups, oh my god, and the Ace of Swords, and underneath that you have the Page of Swords, sorry, the Page of Cups. This is something you're going to be really good at. You're going to be really, really good at this. Like the Eight of Pentacles, you'll have to work hard, but that's something that you do anyway. You know Virgos are such naturally hard workers, but the Eight of Pentacles, you're going to be really good at it. Like, this is like making a name, a name for yourself in something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Swords. So it's going to be something you really love. And with the Ace of Swords, I feel like it's something very different than what you are used to. And with the Page of Cups, this usually talks about in a career reading, like, getting on your true path, like doing the thing that you're supposed to be doing. Interesting, right, let's um, clarify this Three of Swords. Let me just get some of these guys out of the way, because you have the Three of Swords here and the Eight of Wands in your near future. Why is that Three of Swords there? <coughs> I'm so sorry about my voice, Virgo. Why is that Three of Swords there? Why is that Three of Swords there? Hmm. You have the Seven of Swords with the Three of Swords, which obviously this adds up to the Ten. So I feel like there's some kind of ending. walking away from something and again with that seven of swords it's like I always think with the seven of swords you know it's someone I see the swords as the lessons right because this little guy you know he's taking one last look back right and he's got his little swords and he's like I'm out here <laughs> um because there's like an invading army coming you know the guy is like this is you know this ship has sunk I am out here so maybe you're working for a company that's about to go down or something or you feel like they're not making enough money anymore or something like that but it's like an ending i don't know why that three of swords is there i'm going to try and find out because it's like some kind of emotional release usually or sadness is attached to the three of swords it's some kind of commitment like you were in some kind of commitment in terms of a job like you were in some kind of a contract or something and then it's like suddenly you get to break free you're in some kind of a contract where it's making you sad <laughs> that's what i want to say like the job is making you sad and they may even have lied to you a bit with that seven of swords like they may have over egged the pudding or something like that but i see you breaking free from a contract two of pentacles so there's definitely, there's you making a decision here about what you're going to do. And I see you bouncing. What's this Eight of Wands? I see you breaking free. What's this Eight of Wands, please? Clarify the Eight of Wands. Six of Swords. Definitely moving into something new. You know, the Six of Swords, it's, it's freedom. You're moving into something more harmonious because I don't know what's been going on, but the Five of Swords is not a pleasant place to be. You know, you could have been in like working with people that you didn't like or your boss sucked or it just was making you very unhappy. What else is going on with that Eight of Wands? You know, we're going to move into, that's what I see happening in the near future. I see you making a decision to break free from a contract. We're going to talk more about this outcome. There's definitely, this is something really beautiful coming in here. Um, what is this new opportunity that's coming in? 
my god. <laughs> Give me a second here for a go. What is this new? There's the Eight of Wands. So it could be something to do with communication. It could also be something to do with travel. It could be something to do with writing. I see it happening pretty fast though. This is something that you are really, really good at because the eights talk about mastery. I see you making a name for yourself in this new thing pretty quickly. What is this new thing that's coming in for Virgo? The Nine of Cups, it's a wish fulfillment because you have the, the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So it's like it's something that's going to make you really, really, really happy. And also with the Ten of Cups, I always kind of take that to be like it's going to be something that is really good for humanity. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's what you're going into. You may even be creating something from the ground up with the Magician. And you have the Knight of Swords here with the Ace of Swords. Um, I'm just going to take that one. You're going to really, it's going to happen very fast. Whatever, is, whatever this is going to take off very fast. Why is that page of cups there? The Knight of Pentacles. So it's it's going to be um, very, very stable. It's going to be very stable. It's going to take off very, very quickly, but it's going to be stable and it's going to last. You have the Queen of Wands down here. So you could be something in the in the spotlight. You know, the Queen of Wands, she can be like a business owner. She can own her own business. She could be a manager or a team leader. Clarify this, um, you have the Empress here and the Lovers. This is something like, it's something kind of nurturing or it's like working for a charity or some, it's something like that. But I feel like you're going to be in the spotlight. The, the Queen of Wands can also be like an actress or she can be a singer. The thing about the Queen of Wands is she's very warm. She gets a lot of attention, but she's very, very warm. And so is the Empress. This is something, this could also be like, you might end up working with this person. Because I do see for some of you, there may be like a business partnership with that Six of Cups. <clears throat> like someone that you used to work with. I'm going to come back to this, but I see this here as well. Like this Eight of Wands could be some kind of communication where you're pretty much working with someone else almost immediately. It could be like some kind of partnership. And you have this Page of Cups here with the Knight of Pentacles. So you might be working with someone who's very creative and you're like the more stable one that kind of deals with the money or it could be vice versa. I feel like there's some kind of partnership here. <clears throat> especially because you have the lovers here as well but um yeah the queen of wands and the empress are both very nurturing very warm energies and especially with the lovers the lovers often talks about phila philanthropy or something that really really speaks to your soul but this could also be the person that you're working with this queen of wands empress type energy they could be Aries, Leo, Sag, they could be Taurus or Libra, or they could be Gemini, Taurus or Libra. It's like a love. You know, the Empress and the Lovers, it's like a love. It's like a, something quite loving that you're going to be doing. Like, it improves the world in some way. You're definitely moving away from something. Yeah, there's a look. There's a partnership here, the Two of Cups. You're entering into some kind of partnership here. And you have the Queen of Swords here. So you could be entering into a partnership with a Queen of Swords type energy, or this could be you. It's something to do, <coughs> excuse me, I think it's something to do with communication. So either you will be the one communicating or you'll be working as a partner with the one that's doing the communicating. 
it could also be it doesn't have to be like speaking you could be writing or you could be making movies or something like that like some kind of media someone in the partnership is drawing information from the ether and giving it out in some way but i see you you're moving away from something six of swords here something that was a heavy burden right you're working too much with the ten of wands you're working too many hours you have too much responsibility which was maybe fine for you in the past but i feel like now you're just like i'm done you have the seven of pentacles here so you may be a little sad <clears throat> because you put so much work into this past thing that you're doing but you're really tired you know i feel like you've put a lot of work into this but you're really tired and it's not paying off or it's like a really, really slow payoff or something. They were kind of waiting for you to get into this hanged man perspective though. They were waiting for you to get into this new perspective where you were, you're kind of in this new way of thinking where you're like, you know what? I don't want to work all the hours God sends for nothing. And that's when things are going to change. But I see a partnership here. It might be a Leo because Leo had a very similar reading like they were getting into a partnership with someone and just saying that like look this the sun is just <laughs> is just peeking out here so you could very well be getting into some kind of partnership with a leo or someone that has leo in their chart mm -hmm. so that's the reading virgo i hope it was a useful reading many many thanks for watching um if it resonated with you and you enjoyed it and you feel like liking and subscribing for me i'd appreciate that a lot and don't forget to check out my new channel how to train your caterpillar. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day or your evening, Virgo. Many blessings, love and light.